Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the ultimate fighting game. If you don't believe me, just look at the title. There are undoubtedly other good fighting games, but I feel like nothing else can truly capture the magic of this crossover. It's a celebration of everything games as you get to battle it out with some of your favorite characters of all time. Even for those who aren't a big fan of playing, you have to admit that actually getting into Smash is a massive deal. There are few things more exciting than theorizing with fans on who will join the roster next or watching another newcomer trailer. Most most of the time, the characters that find themselves an ultimate are completely understandable. They represent the games that are popular, but every so often, a newcomer arrives that goes against all expectations, not necessarily because it's a bad addition, but because it's a meme. To get a better understanding of what I'm talking about, we may as well dive into each of the characters one by one. Sans. He's one of the biggest characters in the beloved indie game Undertale, and he's proven himself as a gaming icon. Toby Fox's thought-provoking RPG has been a constant point of discussion with a growing fandom. The game itself is incredible, but the fandom doesn't really have the best reputation. Because of this weird status surrounding the game, certain characters have been memed way too much. Sans is probably the biggest example of that. For as long as I can remember, everyone joked about putting Sans in Super Smash Bros. It was sort of what you say for fun, even though you didn't actually expect it to happen. But then, September 2019 arrived. In this case, Sans was a Mii Gunner costume and not an actual newcomer. However, that didn't matter to most fans. He still had his own model, a brand new remix of Megalovania, and it was all fun. That being said, this came as an absolute shock to almost everyone who's watching. What's even harder to believe is that it became a reality thanks to the friendship between Masahiro Sakurai and Toby Fox. Yes, it's true. You'll be able to buy a Mii Gunner costume of Sans and Smash Brothers Ultimate later today. It'll come with a special arrangement of Megalovania composed by me. It's a huge honor to have something I created in Smash. Thank you so much, Mr. Sakurai. I wrote more beforehand, but I'm so shocked that Sakurai talked about our meeting. If he's going to mention me, then I have to tell everyone that we listened to a CD of Smash music as he drove me home in his car, which I kept calling his Batmobile. But with Sans being one of those meme characters that was never supposed to make it into Ultimate, we have to wonder, why did he get in? I think the answer is simple. Besides these two hanging out, Undertale is a popular game. Sakurai reveals that Sans was a highly requested character by fans, which only makes sense when you realize just how many people fell in love with Undertale. What's also worth mentioning is that this is an indie game, and there isn't really a lot of indie representation in Smash. Even if people were just joking about adding Sans in Smash, no one can deny that his inclusion brings the overall franchise forward. You can't really call yourself the biggest gaming crossover of all time without having some indie stuff. After all, indie games are just as important as AAA ones. Now let's move on to the next character. Piranha Plant. Oh, where do I start with Piranha Plant? This is the kind of character you look at and wonder if it's some kind of fan-made mod or a dumb April Fool's joke, but no. This is a real newcomer, he had a full reveal trailer and everything. There probably weren't that many people predicting Piranha Plant in Smash, except my good friend Dila. How did you know? During an interview with Game Informer, Sakurai talked about what happens during development and why they went with something a little different. I'm actually not paying too much focus on the surprise element when we introduce a new fighter. The surprise element quickly quickly fades once the announcement has been made. Rather, I believe it's important to have a good balance as a game. In the past titles in the series, Mr. Game & Watch, Rob, and Duck Hunt Dog were some of the examples we offered outside of people's typical expectations. However, if we don't have these types of fighters, and we only had typical hero-type fighters in the lineup, there's not much difference. It's probably not very interesting, correct? Also, unlike some main characters from some not widely known franchises, Piranha Plant is a character everyone knows well, and I want to make sure to remind everyone that it is a limited time offer fighter everyone can get for free as an early purchase bonus. While I'm not personally a fan of Piranha Plant, I think its inclusion is kind of incredible. When you look at this picture, you assume maybe there are two or three attack moves that could be in a standard Mario game. There's a heavy limit in what the plant can actually do, right? Well, Nintendo went crazy and somehow managed to turn a plant into a full fighter with so many options. If a plant can make it into Smash, what can't become a character? Piranha Plant is incredibly unique. 
while he is a complete joke, he manages to further reveal the underlying message to the Super Smash Bros. franchise. Anyone can be a character. In this game, you can be a monkey, a guy with missiles and grenades, or a plant. But now, let's dive into one of the most memed characters of all time for Smash, the legend known... as Minecraft Steve. He's a character people asked for, yet didn't expect to see him in Smash. When this was revealed to the world in October 2020, I remember Twitter just completely crashing with the announcement, and when it came back, number one trending instantly. That just goes to show that this was no ordinary hype. It was advanced type. Here's what Sakurai said in a video game magazine. Many moons ago, I was asked if I could put Minecraft in Smash Ultimate somehow. It was a pretty crazy idea based on the original game, but at least the fighters and the stages were easy to come up with. It was all easy to consider, and I'd say I understood the source material well enough. However, the closer we made things to be like Minecraft, the more difficult it was to create, and the further away we got from making it all work. But what we ended up producing is a fighter that has interesting quirks, can hold his own with other fighters, and retains his his original appeal. That fighter is Steve. I don't think beginners will be able to handle Steve very well. That's something they'll have to work up to. You'd think that since Minecraft has such a broad fan base, the barrier for entry should be as low as possible, right? Not so. In my opinion, watering an original character down, making them less interesting, and turning them into a mediocre fighter is unbearable. Also, if you think about it, Minecraft itself is a pretty complex game, so I was determined to take those unique characteristics head on. Listen, I'm not afraid to admit that I had Steve towards the top of my wanted characters for Smash. I love Minecraft. What else do you want me to say? As much of a joke as he is, his inclusion as a newcomer also makes a lot of sense. For one, Minecraft is the best-selling video game in the world. Despite its release a while ago, its popularity has continued to rise over the years. Minecraft is timeless enough where players just keep coming back for more. Steve also has an incredible moveset, and he brought a whole bunch of new mechanics to Smash. Whether it's building or crafting, he really added something new to the fighting form and by no means is he a waste of a slot. So at the end of the day, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate isn't afraid to include jokes. More often than not though, they have real reasons to be featured in the crossover. Whether it be because of global recognition or incredibly thoughtful mechanics, these characters are always fun to see. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.